Hi, I'm Steve Adler, Education Solutions Engineer at Adobe Systems, and welcome to Acrobat for Education Tips and Tricks. Let's look at how we can customize our markup tools and become a little more productive. So you see we've had our do document here, and as we saw earlier, you have always in your Quick Tools area, you have the pop-up tool, sticky note, which we can click on here and get a quick little sticky note that will show us, uh, in this case, name and date. And we saw earlier the highlight tool, which we use primarily for text work. But you've got this here, and you want to be able to do more with this. So I could, you know, I could type in something here. This is the first comment. And you see if we click the pull down menu next to the name we have other options available to us we'll look at these a bit later but what I do want to draw to your attention is the ability to actually personalize or customize and have complete control of the properties of this particular tool and to do this we're going to go to the view menu and we're going to go to show hide and we're going to go to toolbar items and we're going to select properties bar and if you like shortcuts it's command or control E now the properties bar is unique and it doesn't lend itself to being found too easily so we, the, what's nice about this is any tool that I'm using every property associated with it will live in this particular uh, properties bar so for example I'd like to change the look of this particular pop-up note so I may decide, you know, I'd like to change the uh, color of this. I may want to modify the text size. I may want to make it easier to uh, read. So if I were to highlight this, for example, and then grow that so it's easier for me to read, I can. If I want to change the color of the text, I can do so as well. Now these are all the properties associated with this particular tool. And as I move to other tools, for example, if I go to comment tool here, and perhaps I pick up uh, this one here, which is kind of useful. This is a, a roll over there for a second. This is a text box tool. And I draw myself a little text box. You'll see that the properties here are revealed to me so that I can quickly decide the properties I want for this, this text box. Justification, fonts, font styles, font size, text colors, and so forth and so on. But what's nice is when I've customized this to my liking, and I may just try, decide to just, you know, bring this up a little bit to maybe 18 point font, and uh, start typing in here. When I have it the way I like it, I can then click on that particular comment. And when I click on that comment, you'll see that it jumps into view in my comments list. I'll pull this out of the way and show you what I mean. If I click on this one right here, you'll see that it jumps to that position in the comments list. Now it could be that I would like to keep this style for all future comments that I make. What I'll do here is right click on it, go to properties, and it's showing me the sticky note properties here and some of those options. You'll see the parallel that I've got in this over here as well. I could decide to make changes in both positions. This gives me everything I need quickly. This uh, is more of the detail. So if I if I cancel out for that and I go like this, for example, you'll see that opens up the same information. So by right clicking on that, I can find the properties for that sticky note. Perhaps I'd rather use a check mark instead. I can modify the opacity a little bit, drop that down. And then when I look down into this bottom area, I can make these the defaults for everything moving forward on that. So then as I move through my document and decide to add some more pop-up notes, clicking on those right there. And if I close it by mistake, I can just double click it and open it up again. And I have preserved the properties for that particular type of note. You'll want to explore the other types of annotations and markups you can place on your PDF. And remember, for every one of these, if you double click on that particular markup, you will get a comment layer that you can utilize for your uh, editing and reviewing uh, purposes. Now, it may be that you need to change your name in the document and keep that 
uh, in position uh, at all times. To do this, we're going to go to the preferences again in commenting. So I'm going to go down here to my commenting preferences and take a look here. If you look at the making comments area of the comments preferences, by turning off always use login name for author name, you'll be able to change your name in the comments preferences in the document itself here and make this anything that you need to based on uh, what you're trying to accomplish in that comment review.